just heading out to my physical therapy. And um, I wasn't going to do a video today because I'm kind of like, don't feel, I don't feel well for whatever reason, I don't feel well. Um, but, um, you know, with everything that's going on over in Israel and stuff, and, and um, I'm just really feeling led to um, to pray for them right now. Um, so if, if, I, if it's okay with you guys, I'd like to just say a, a short prayer for them. Um, Joel, please don't close your eyes because he's driving. <laughs> Um, Heavenly Father, I just ask that you will place a hedge of protection around Israel and continue to keep them safe, Lord. Um, I pray that you lift them up um, and you give them that peace and that comfort um, that will keep them strong as they go through this. Lord, I also lift up Gaza, the people of Palestine, the Palestinians. I lift up Iran, Lord, and your people and every person throughout the world, Lord, that they will look to you for that comfort and peace and that they will turn to you, Lord. Um, you are our God, Lord, and, and you, you are so sovereign. And we love you. We praise you, Lord. And I know that it is not just... It is not just Israel, the people of Israel that you want, Lord. You want all people, Lord. I know this. I know that you want people to turn to you. You don't want destruction. You want peace. I know this, Lord. And Lord, we just love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I have been feeling so, so led lately because... I am seeing such uh, through everywhere, you know, I'm seeing in church and, and it's just an anger, a frustration, um, a discontent, fear. a fear. And it, that's what it is. It's fear. People are fearing what's happening, you know, and and like I said, I, I wasn't going to do a video, but I just happened to be scrolling uh, through Facebook and I have a friend who I love dearly who just um, really is is so, gosh, I don't want to say misled or, or I think he's been misled <laughs> and, and not understanding, just like many Christians, many Christians who may not be understanding of what Christ really is about, you know. And I, I think I know that I know that everybody believes that, you know, not everybody, I don't want to generalize anything, okay? But in, in when I think of Christ, how I have built a relationship with Christ, and through reading script, scripture, I'm understanding that we, we are but vessels. We, on earth, our body is a vessel. It is a vessel for our, our spirit, for our soul, and that, and that when, when it gets hurt, when it gets, when it gets crushed, when it gets, it, it's, it's a vessel. It's, and, but our minds are so small that we can't comprehend, you know, God's sovereign mind. You know, it's, it's, because everybody's like, why would, why would God allow for things to happen like that because we're vessels we and he doesn't I don't know that he he does allow it but it's kind of like they sometimes feel like he's doing it and I'm like we're doing it to ourselves we do it to ourselves so yeah he does allow it but we just we do it to ourselves with all of our hate and our anger and you know the one thing that he's looking for is for us to turn to him that's what he wants he wants us to turn to him and so when I talk about um, you know speaking the gospel that we need to speak the gospel to people so that they know about Jesus so that they understand that they their real peace and their comfort come from the Lord when the, it's because that's what he wants from you he wants you he wants not just me not not just you know the Christian church you know uh, uh, the Baptist, the Methodist. He, he doesn't just want them. He wants you. He wants the Palestinian people. He wants the Muslims. He wants, you know, wh 
what, whatever. He wants all of you. And I, I just, he just wants you to turn to him. That's all. That's all. So, and, and, but the thing is, is that we, with all of our humanness, we like to divide. We do it. God doesn't divide. Jesus doesn't divide. We do it to ourselves. And it, and we just don't get it. We just don't get it, you know. And and things are prophesied in the Bible, and and they're going to happen because it's in His plan anyway. He already knows it's going to happen. He knows it's going to happen, and yes, He'll allow it because He knows us so well that we will do it to ourselves. But He will also keep you safe when you turn to Him. When you turn to Him, He will keep you safe. And I truly believe, you know, I know that, um, you know, with theology and everything, you know, we really don't know, what is it, pre-trib, a pre-trib, pre-trib, mid-trib, and post-trib, you know. We really don't know, you know, you, everybody has their own thoughts on that, you know. And, um, and a lot of people, I love this because some of the pastors are like, I just want to be up on the first, <laughs> you know, the first ship out, the first, the first cloud out, whatever. I, I want to be the one <laughs> and you know, whatever it is. Um, I really have a thought of post trip that it, and, and my reasoning is because you said this last night that he is, um, separating the wheat from the chaff, separating the wheat from the chaff. And what he means by that is that. You know, we, I don't, I, you, you can think of it as weeding out, but I hate to think of it as that because, you know, when you grow a garden, well, maybe when you grow a garden, you don't, they don't, they say not to pull the weeds in, in the Bible, you know, don't pull the weeds from, you know, what's sprouting with the others. And, um, and, and when, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, does that mean because there's always that chance that you can turn that weed to Jesus, you know? that there's that chance and so during times of tribulation I told you all I said sometimes the only time that somebody will turn to God is in a time of tribulation and so we go through those times so we can turn to him and I know people think you know they're like oh yeah but you know we're gonna die well yes but again we're just yes we're gonna die anyway but you know but we're gonna die but but when you turn to God, you're going to have life. You have eternal life. Again, this body that we're in is just a vessel and it's going to get bruised. It can get broke. It will wear out and it will die. And, and it could, it could happen in, in destruction because we destroy ourselves. I don't know if I'm making sense. It's just, it, and, and I, maybe at some point in my life, I'll be able to explain it better. But it's, it's, it's just, it's so, he's sovereign. He could do whatever he wants. He's, and, and when we think of it, it's like, how can he do that to us? Well, because he's so above us, our thoughts, our nature, everything, you know, but we our egos think like, because we think we're little gods that we can have this, you know, no, we're not gods. We're so below him. And, and that's where, you know, I, I'm, I just really felt led like I had to do this video. I don't know, just even just to pray. So everybody knows that, you know, that, that yes, we need to pray for Israel, but we need to pray, pray for everybody that they will turn to Christ. Because it's not, it's not what everybody, it's not what some people think it is. It's not us against them it's you know Jesus wants everybody wants everybody to turn everybody and and I, I'm just I'm just praying I'm just praying every day and I just feel led and I'm, I'm seeing all of that frustration and anger anger in people and it's not just the secular world I'm seeing it in the church people are afraid and it's bringing them to to be angry and and to fight to fight one another <laughs> you have no idea how many people i have fought with in the past week <laughs> but i'm not like trying to fight i'm not trying to fight i'm really not i'm like oh no what is going on but to have a voice to have a voice and and it, it um i'm finding it's scary 
it's scary to have a voice. It's scary to to stand up for Jesus. It's scary. The, I didn't realize how scary it was going to be. I did not realize that, and I, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to have. I'm not going to stop to have a voice for Jesus. Though I won't. I won't because I know. I know there's a mission that we're on, and that and that is to speak his name and to lead more people to lead more people you know we need to lead them to Jesus because there are so many people that don't know him they don't know him and yes it's okay that you want to teach those who already know him you know about the Bible and everything like that but there are so many people out there that don't know him that don't know him and we need to reach them we need to reach them and we need to reach them however we can and if it, and if it if it means growing your church, <laughs> grow your church and bring those people in because they need to know Jesus. They need to do, know Jesus. And I, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that. Wherever God plants me, at whatever time, I want to be a part of that. And I think Joel, Joel's going to be a part of that too, <laughs> whether he likes it or not. <laughs> right, honey? Yeah. You bet. You bet, because he, cause he's right along with me. Well, guys, we are here in uh, Colorado Springs. And um, again, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. And I pray for you all. I pray for peace everywhere in this world. Um, I love you. God bless you. And we will talk to you all later.